All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started with this super easy circle maxi skirt tutorial. And I am using a bed sheet. Um, that is one of the first supplies that you will need. I'm super tall, so that's why I use the bed sheet. You don't have to. You can just use fabric if you want to, but you will need a good bit of fabric. So I'm using a bed sheet, king size bed sheet that I got from Walmart. The next thing you'll need is some sort of marking chalk. I cannot find my chalk, so I'm using my daughter's chalk for her chalkboard. Definitely make sure you use actual marking chalk or like a marking pen. You're also going to need some straight pins, you know, so you can pin down your fabric while you're sewing, a pair of scissors, some measuring tape, a seam ripper. I do also have a zipper foot that I'm using. You don't have to have a zipper foot, so that's optional, but I am using a zipper foot. Some thread. And then it depends on what type of skirt that you're making. I have two pieces here. Um, one is the elastic. If you're going to do the elastic method, then of course you'll need the elastic. And then I also have some stitch whippery. You're going to want to use interfacing, but I didn't have any, so I just kind of worked with the supplies that I had. And I also have a zipper. Sorry guys, I forgot to include it in the picture, but you will see that um, later on in part two of this tutorial if you want to do the waistband, um, you know, the way that I did for the skirt. And then I also have a yardstick there that just kind of helps me make sure my lines are straight. And um, you'll need, of course, your sewing machine and as well as the ironing and some sort of, you know, ironing surface. All right, you guys, so because my skirt and the fabric is so big, what I'm going to do is start with showing you how to, you know, kind of start off the skirt using a sheet of paper. I tried it the first time, and actually, guys, let me apologize because you can see this is a leopard skirt, not the, you know, teal blue colored skirt. The first time I made the tutorial while I was recording, I didn't actually record all of the parts. So, you know, I had this because I was going to make a leopard one, so I'm using this for the leopard one for the tutorial. So. Yeah, I'm showing you guys on a drawing because the fabric is so big and the first time I did it, I couldn't get everything, you know, in frame. So I'm going to show you this um, with a sheet of paper and hopefully you guys will, you know, get how to make this and think it's super easy. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is take some measurements. The first measurement we're going to start with will be your waist, wherever you want it to fall, whether it's your natural waist or lower. If you want to do high waist, just make sure you measure an accurate measurement for your waist, minus 29 inches. You'll take that waist measurement and divide that by 6.28, and for me, that equals 4.61. The next measurement you're going to want to take is your length. I want mine as long as possible, so I'm doing 44 inches plus 1 inch for my seam allowance, so that gives me a length of 45 inches. The next measurement is going to be your total length. You're going to add the 45 inches plus the measurement you took dividing your waist by the 6.28, which is the 4.61, giving you a total length of 49.61. Okay, you guys, so this sheet of fabric here is going to act as the king size sheet that I use. And the king size sheet, it does have, you know, it's a sheet, so it has like the top marking on it going down along here, okay? I fold the fabric in half the long way and then I folded the fabric this way going right up to where that top part of the sheet was this part I'm going to use later on for the top of my skirt so that's why I folded this way so the next thing you're going to do is the measurements that you took at the beginning you want to measure going down the fabric the length of your skirt. Now remember, the total length comes out to be 49.61 for my skirt. Okay, you guys? You do that on both sides. Then what you're going to do is take your measuring tape. And let me see if I have mine. Hold on one second. Actually, you know what? <laughs> this will work good. This is like a little piece of um, wonder tape. We'll say this is 49.61, okay? You're going to take your fabric, or excuse me, you're going to take your measuring tape and hold it right here at this point and just scoot it over and mark at 49.61. Do the same thing, just keep scooting over, mark it 49.61. Then from there, 
the measurement that you took for your waist that you divided by 6.28, you're going to use that to mark where your waist is going to be. So let's say you have your measuring tape right here, you measure down and you figure that right about here is your 4.61. Same thing, take your measuring tape, go around, mark your 4.61, keep going around, keep going around, okay? Then all I do is I just, you know, go around, connect my dots with my chalk, like so, connect your dots here like so, okay? So this part is going to be cut out. This excess is going to be cut out. So what you're left with in between here and here is going to be the actual length of your skirt. That's what you wanted it to be in the first place, which will be the 45 inches in my case, okay? Go ahead and take your scissors and cut out your fabric. This is going to be the bottom of your circle skirt. Then you're going to do the same thing and cut out your waist. All right, so this is what you're going to end up with. You'll have a big circle, of course, much bigger than this paper. This is going to be your waist part. And that is your circle skirt, of course. When it's folded in real fabric, it'll be really, really pretty. Now, one thing that you can do if you don't want to do the top like I'm going to do with the zipper and you're just kind of starting out but you still want a really you know cute circle skirt the only thing I would do is when you measure your waist I would actually actually go down to your hips the widest part of your hips that's where I would measure at and then I would mark that like say your hips is I don't know 40 you divide 40 by 6.28 and use that measurement instead. And then instead of doing a zipper for your skirt, what you could do is just sew an elastic band around here. So of course you fold it over, fold your fabric over, kind of like that. You guys can see that? And just sew an elastic band in there. The only thing is with that, it's gonna take up a lot of your length. So if you're super tall like me, then that may not work, but you know, if you're not crazy super tall like me, then that's definitely what I would do to just kind of make it a really easy circle skirt. Or if you're making a shorter circle skirt, then that would work great too. And just so you guys can have an idea of what your fabric will look like, this is the picture on the left is what my fabric or my sheet looked like once I had cut everything out. And you can see the bottom portion cut out. You can still kind of see some of the markings from my chalk on there, but that's what it'll look like once you've cut it out. I don't have a dress form, but the picture on the right is just, you know, I put it on a pants hanger, hung it up so you guys can get a kind of idea of the flow on the skirt and what you will end up with. Okay guys, and this is a picture of a skirt that I actually made for my mom. Since I bought the sheet set at Walmart, it was like 20 bucks when I bought it. It had a fitted sheet, a flat sheet, and some pillowcases. So I used the flat sheet to make my skirt, and I used the fitted sheet to go ahead and make a skirt for my mom, and I used the elastic waistband method for her so just to kind of give you guys an idea of what it would look like if you use the elastic waistband method and inshallah I plan on making some sort of skirt or dress or something for my daughter too so definitely make sure you guys follow me on you know Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that so I'll definitely post some pictures there of what I make that's the end of part one on how to make this circle skirt tutorial so just a couple of pics so you guys can see here's the blue one the one I made first and then the leopard one with you know both of these I use the um, waistband you know I did the zipper and everything so if you guys want to see how to add the zipper like in these pictures definitely make sure you check out part two and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial if you do make a circle skirt using this tutorial I would love to see your pics you guys can definitely share those with me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter and I'm at Nadira037 and if you like the video definitely give it a thumbs up and as always feel free to share. Thank you guys so much for watching and until my next video, assalamu alaikum, peace. On some of the halal nail polishes, some of the hits and misses and basically I'm going to go over three different polishes with you guys and just talk to you real quick about them so you guys can kind of decide for yourself and pick which 
polishes you may want to wear and I can let you know which ones definitely aren't even worth, you know, spending your money on.